Welcome back, welcome back to another video, guys. Kemoa here from BZ Jamaica. I want to start off by wishing all my subscribers and everyone who is watching this video today happy, happy, happy new year, guys. So, here, guys, we are putting up our Gen LBU a 16 kilowatt. This inverter is a split phase inverter with. 66 amps output at 120-240 volts AC. This inverter comes with a lot of working modes that can allow customer to meet various demands and help to reduce your energy bill significantly. So in the self-consumption mode, when solar power is enough, then it will use the solar power from the panels to power the load while charge the battery. And when solar power is not enough to power the load, the battery will come in and help to power your load. And when solar power is not enough to power the load and there is no battery connect to the system, then JPS will be used to take the load. And did you know that there are many different ways of designing a solar energy system? Yes, here at BZ Jamaica, we, we educate you guys based on your budget and what you're, you really need. Because we have solar and battery system available here. We have AC coupling with existing solar system. We have on-grid solar system without a battery connect to it. And we have off-grid and backup application system here at BZ Jamaica. So once you reach out to us, we, we gather your information and give you the best solar system design for your money. All right. And it's at an affordable cost. So just reach out, ask a question, and we are here to guide you guys. This 16 kilowatt hybrid inverter is paired with 12700 watt bifacial solar panels delivering around 8.4 kilowatt of solar power to charge a battery and supply to attached load. So let's dive into the PV input data. So for the startup of this um, 16 kilowatt hybrid inverter, you have to make sure that you connect around three solar panels where you can get 140 volts DC input. And for normal operation of this inverter, you have to stay within this voltage range of 120 to 140 volts DC a normal operation of this um, 16 kilowatt hybrid inverter this inverter have a maximum pv input wattage of around 21,000. so you can put in 21,000. that's 21 kilowatts of solar power into this inverter that will equivalent to 30 pieces of solar panels and that is if you're using 700 watts How much can you save on your electricity bill with a system like this? You can save between 30 to 80,000 on your electricity bill with a system design like this. Alright? 
especially when you don't have any gas, you don't have to think about paying any electricity because the system can sustain this um, Airbnb until you have gas again without JPS have to send you any estimated bill. And yes, yeah, so on this system we have 700 watt solar panel, six on each side, you know, and each separate separate MPT charge controller because I didn't want to put them on one string because they're on different um, side of the roof so they experience different amount of sunlight until around midday they will be producing the same amount so here we have we have the 16 kilowatt battery I want to explain a few discharge and charge from the permit from the performance permit uh, chart when you're discharging one of this battery you can only discharge 8 kilowatt from it when you have two you can now discharge 16 kilowatt from it to power a 16 kilowatt load so that will equivalent to around 320 amps to discharge 16 kilowatt so a lot of customers get it twisted when they have um one battery and expecting to discharge all of it no because the more you go over the recommended um amps is the is the more the battery will go into to a protection mode and cut off discharge and that will allow your system to chip out so bear in mind the batteries cannot discharge more than the recommended current that it's rated for because heat and all of that you have to take into consideration so that's why the manufacturer send user manual for you guys to stay within the, the the recommended parameters so you can have the battery for a long period of time without damaging the bms and damaging the cell of the battery all right okay guys let me take this time out to tell you about this beautiful airbnb called villa lloyd it's a two bedroom two bathroom villa located in the secure and posh community of savannah vista's runaway Bay, st anne it is big and spacious and quiet perfect for people like me who love a good vibes and relaxation. The community housing this secret getaway features 24 hours security and a nice pool. So if you're looking for an Airbnb that is affordable, clean and secure, please click the link in the bio right now. Also, please be reminded that at This Is Jamaica, we supply your solar needs, whether it be for a prefab house, an Airbnb or even an hotel. Just call us at 876-331-2169 or 876-836-6370. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Beezy's Jamaica. And when you do, please remember, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy holidays. We do appreciate you at Beezy's Jamaica. And this is a bonus tip on this 16 kilowatt hybrid inverter. As I mentioned earlier, this hybrid inverter can operate in hybrid mode and off-grid mode. So let's start off with the, with the off-grid mode. Off-grid mode, you can only get 12,000 watt out of this inverter and that operates at around 50 amps output. So that is when there is no JPS connect to the unit. But the next mode now is hybrid mode. So once JPS is connected to the system, JPS will provide the next 4,000 or 4 kilowatt for you to actually output 16,000 watt to your load. All right, so bear that in mind. So you cannot have this unit in off grid mode and expect to get 16 kilowatt out of the inverter. Yeah, until next time, I'm your boy Kemar. And just to let you know, guys, that this system this installation is our number six in savannah vista community customer love our services here at busy's jamaica yes and thank you for watching again guys bye